Good evening and welcome to another episode of Bahrain Now with me, your host, Bara Abdullah. We've got a great show lined up full of local talents, initiatives and happenings from around the island. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, in line with this effort to support the Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and the National Employment Program for the Bahrainis in private and public sectors. APM Terminals Bahrain, with the support of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, MTT, launched Beacon, a two-year program that aims to support the logistics and the maritime industry by injecting potential logistics leaders into the market and bring maritime expertise to the new generation. To speak more about, it, uh, about this program, we're joined here in the studio by Yusra Abdullah, Head of Human Resources at the APM Terminals Bahrain. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, it's a pleasure to be here and share some highlights on the uh, Beacon uh, program today. Amazing, amazing. I mean, even the play with words of Beacon, it's like when I yeah. first saw it, it's like it's B and Kun in Arabic. Arabic. That is just beautiful. And then it just is pronounced Beacon. Yes. So that whoever thought of that as a teamwork, you did an amazing job with that, definitely. Thank you, thank you for letting me. <laughs> definitely. Thank you for that. So tell us more about the Beacon program. It's actually a, a upscaling program that we have worked on uh, the beginning of this year in alignment with 2030 vision, as you have mentioned, mm. and uh, backed by the Minister of uh, Transportation and Telecommunication um, um, in developing uh, that aims to develop um, uh, leaders uh, mm. in the maritime and logistics uh, field. Amazing, amazing. So now as we're going to have future leaders in the maritime and in the logistics field, which is pretty much a very important place to be at, the question would be who can join? It's an open and uh, the program is meant to be uh, for mid to senior uh, level Bahraini mm. who has been in the leadership uh, mm. positions uh, in different fields, uh, the government relations, the health and safety, transformations, wow. uh, operation, asset maintenance, and um, uh, project uh, management. Wow, that's like a very big spectrum going on over there. It is actually. And um, um, we had just completed uh, the second phase, which is the, um, um, uh, the applicants, mm. and we are going towards um, screening the applicants oh. and uh, preparing for the um, uh, final uh, stage which mm. is uh, preparing the applicants for the uh, interviews which is in the next couple of the, uh, weeks okay. or beginning of uh, uh, um, January let us okay. say. So and it's and a two years program. It's, it's actually a two years program and which allows the, uh, the uh, candidate who wins uh, the okay. opportunity is to go and undergo through um, 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 short-term assessments on job trainings and um, certifications and coachings as well wow. as if they are an APM, t uh, APM Terminals Bahrain's uh, uh, full uh, employee. Amazing. I mean, apparently going to be very busy yes, <laughs> for this program. Is, I mean, as if things were not busy enough, but now with this program, which is going to be super exciting for Bahrain, and you know, and it's going to be exciting for everybody joining it. It's going to be even a busier life on the side. So now, as exciting as the program is, now I think a lot of people would like to know how would this pretty much support the Bahraini economy? As we all know, the businesses in Bahrain acro and across the global were all hit by the uh, uh, the pandemic. Mm. The Beacon program is, is our contribution to towards the recovery of the economy of Bahrain mm. and so does uh, supports the talents uh, Bahrainis. When we say here uh, talent Bahrainis is actually, it's uh, our priorities in this program is to support the talent Bahrainis who had right. actually lost their jobs right. during the pandemic. Wow. Uh, um, bearing in mind that they meet the actual uh, criteria of the uh, program itself. Amazing, amazing. Everything you said right now is just super exciting. As Bahrain right now is gonna embark a new journey, emphasize uh, into new fields, which is the maritime and logistics. And again, beacon, I love the word. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> everybody will just love, like everybody's like, oh, I want to be a beacon. <laughs> and we were so excited when we come and, and, and describe uh, the B in, in, in English and in, 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 in Arabic and how that's these links together. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Now, 
Tell us more about the achievements that took place at your department, even, I would say, at your terminal. Um, the logistics and the economics are one of the main uh, pillars uh, mm. for the uh, economic developments of Bahrain. And so does um, uh, Khalifa bin Salman port is the main national asset mm. as well. There's something that I wanted to share with Please. you and it's, uh, I'm, I'm feeling so proud about it, is that uh, we have around 298 of our workforce are actually Bahrainis. Mm. And 66% of our leadership uh, teams are, are Bahrainis. Amazing. Um, um, they, um, we have been investing, uh, heavily investing in their um, uh, developments and mm. growth through uh, different criteria of uh, uh, learnings mm. and short-term assignments and different terminals, on-job trainings Amazing. and uh, lean and etc. Beautiful. Beautiful. So it's like, it's like pretty much having the chance and to say that Bahrainis will carry Bahrain even further and further as you know, Bahrainis understand how things work. They have everything that it takes to be leaders, to be in the workforce, to have it all with the maritime and logistics. So it's just beautiful all together. And not only that, uh, we at APM Terminals Bahrain, we feel accountable towards the developments of the community. Mm. We have been working closely with local universities such as uh, Polytechnic Bahrain mm. uh, in developing and enhancing our um, 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 the uh, internship programs. Right. Um, with the pandemic as well, we, ha we were um, we were thinking of what we can do and how we can run our internship program. Mm. So what we did is that we, uh, we developed an, um, a virtual uh, okay. uh, internship program. And you won't believe uh, Eleven had uh, participated in that uh, program. And out of this Eleven, today we have two who had won a full employment uh, contract uh, at APMT Bahrain. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's pretty much from internship to be actually part of the family of APMT. Exactly. It's just unbelievable. Yes. So with that all been said, now any last words? What's even more exciting in here, in this program, is that it has been developed by Bahrainis. Um, um, the team uh, w um, had worked hard in developing such a program to just give back to the community, to the uh, economy of, uh, of uh, Bahrain. Mm. And we are looking forward uh, to share the success of this uh, uh, program and what was the impact of this uh, program. We cannot wait to see what's going to happen in two years from now. Definitely. And we're going to have you again after two years, maybe. Maybe Inshallah. even earlier than that. Inshallah. With the other members, pretty of much. Course. Of, of Beacon, course. And just having a beautiful, successful story to be told and inspired by yourself. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for being with us right here on Bahrain Now. Much appreciated. It's a pleasure. It's, it's a real pleasure to be here today and share some highlights again, as I mm. said, mm. on the program itself. The pleasure was all ours. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it yourself. Bahrain is going to embark a new journey in the maritime and the logistics world. All that with Beacon took place with Yusra here in interview with Bahrain Now. Ladies and gentlemen, opportunities in education continue to grow in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A recent partnership between the American University of Bahrain and California State University Northridge promises a new frontier for many students. And to tell us more about it is the AUBH Provost, Dr. Jeff Zabatsky. Well, good evening, sir, and how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Happy to be here. Thanks oh, for the invitation. Definitely. And we're super excited to know more about the partnership. If you did. Well, we are excited likewise at AUBH because we have just announced this uh, really remarkable relationship with one of the premier institutions in the U.S., the California State University System. Mm. And our partner is the Northridge campus, which is in Los Angeles. So uh, right in the midst <laughs> of Hollywood, uh, which is a, a great place to be. But it's going to promise really wonderful opportunities for young Bahaini students mm. who want to have an opportunity to experience higher education here okay. in Bahrain, but also they'll have the choice to make a transition uh, mm. to California for their studies. So Amazing. the way it'll work is that students will, 
will get underway with their studies here in Bahrain. And you know, they're just coming out of high school, maybe a little bit nervous about higher education. Right, their right. parents are a little bit nervous. <laughs> totally. Get a couple years under their belt uh, working um, and studying here in Bahrain. Then they'll have the choice, if they choose, to make the transition to CSUN, is what okay. we call it. California State University Northridge is CSUN. CSUN. And uh, they'll have that opportunity to transition after two years, or even after three years, to do a mm -hmm. final year um, in California. And they'll graduate with a California State University degree. So it really opens up a world of opportunity uh, for these students. We know in Bahrain that many people have uh, appreciated the opportunity to go to the U.S. and study. Mm. What this does is it allows uh, that market of opportunity to open up to more students because they won't have to pay for four full years okay. of living expenses and, and all of those things that are associated with it, as well as, as I say, demonstrating that they um, can be successful in higher ed for their parents, um, settling in here, showing what they've got, maturing a bit, and then being able to uh, to transition over to uh, to Northridge, so it, it's mm. really uh, kind of the best of all worlds that students have an opportunity to say, I've had an experience abroad, but not the full time right. and financial investments that four years would take. Amazing! No, I feel excited but jealous at the same time. To be <laughs> honest with you, Doctor, it's like seeing this opportunity right now happening and taking place in Bahrain mm -hmm. is just an, a beautiful opportunity for a lot of students. Mm -hmm. So if I might ask you about this partnership, why CSUN? What did you see with the partnership taking place? There's a really nice synergy between uh, us and CSUN in terms mm -hmm. of the nature of the institution that they are. They are an institution that's really focused on aligning their curriculum with um, businesses and industry. Okay. And that's something that we want to do at AUBH as well, so that right. when students graduate, they are going to get a job and a really good job. So there's that kind of practical applied nature to CSUN mm. that really works for us. Um, they've got wonderful relationships with the Los Angeles digital uh, industry. Okay. Um, and so there's lots of support that's provided by companies um, in the Los Angeles region to CSUN. And we similarly have had a number of great relationships with companies um, here in Bahrain. So that's that strong connection to industry and an and, 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 and applied education. And the other thing is they're just huge. They're massive. Right. They've got piles of programs um, um, that our students after two years of study here mm. could enter a major at CSUN with a whole range of choices that we simply couldn't offer here in, okay. in Bahrain. So they do their, their two first years with the general education and then choose the major. So it's just the sheer size of, uh, of Northridge as well as it opens the door to the whole California state system as mm. well. So who knows where students' pathways might take them, but right. they have many, many different choices. Amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, hearing everything you're saying right now just make me feel like, oh, you know what, maybe I'm going to take some time off. <laughs> <laughs> Good for Join you. Join the program, you know, and, <laughs> and go with CSUN as well and just give at least one or two years, you know, out of our lives just to experience California and what it has to offer mm -hmm. with education and the beautiful, like you said, Los Angeles yeah. right now, yeah. right there in Hollywood. So a lot can happen there, definitely. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. You got, you got, you got beaches, you got Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been there just for two weeks and I can feel like, you know, at the strip itself, and I've been going through all the studios yeah. uh, for all the TV shows, uh, whether it's going to O'Brien and other shows, and I can see how education is such an integral part yeah. at, at every corner over there. Yeah. So as now CSUN and AUBH, right, and taking this partnership, how would this add more to the system here when it comes to Bahrain's education? I think what it will do is it will provide more students with a sort of a breadth of experience giving them a more global view of what the world of work is like, what the mm. world of study is like elsewhere. Mm. Because all of that knowledge and uh, experience that's obtained goes beyond simply what's learned in the classroom. Right. You know, it's cultural knowledge, it's how, do, how is business conducted elsewhere. All of that knowledge then comes back to Bahrain. Right. right? So it, it, it creates a global mindset, a global mind view mm. that will assist companies here in Bahrain whose new employees 
Now we're in a position to say, here's, here's how they do things in a really innovative way elsewhere. And they can bring that kind of knowledge uh, back to them. And as I said, I think the other thing is it just simply opens the door to more students who might not otherwise have had the opportunity to study abroad. Mm. There's even the option for students if they choose and they want to spend two years or one year, just the summer. They can right. go over in the summer semester, pick up two courses and add them to their electives that they would have as part of their study here. So there's just a whole range of different things that we're going to do together um, and we'll discover new things as right. the partnership <laughs> gr progresses that uh, that'll be very exciting. Definitely very exciting. It's very interesting like the moment AOBH opened up in Bahrain we saw a good change happening mm -hmm. here like a beautiful change a beautiful wave whether it's the programs the activities and all but even the students when they go over there it just feels different then you know I go there and it's like we are not only learning yeah. we're like pretty much seeing how the world really works mm -hmm. so we want to say thank you so much for bringing that system to us the American system as now we get to see hand to hand how things really work and now we see some things are just getting even bigger and bigger it is it is it, it's an exciting place it I have to say <laughs> the campus is spectacular I mean it was built for purpose um, it was built by a very well-renowned architectural firm designed that does this type of work in the US so you get a holistic experience, that well-rounded American experience mm. of not just studying, but having great f sports facilities, right. uh, student clubs. I mean, all the things that make a, uh, an American uh, educational experience uh, so valuable. Mm. And so that's, there's, there's a different feel when you come on our campus. I mean, it's, it's state of the art, everything is brand new. Um, and when we have student groups from high schools come, their jaws drop open <laughs> and they look around I and can see only imagine. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful facilities. And of course, we're so proud of our faculty. We've been able to hire some world-class faculty, uh, all of whom have had experience in the education system, whether mm. it's they've studied in the U.S. or they've taught in the U.S. Right. So they bring that particular mindset uh, to, uh, to their work. And that helps to ensure the students are going to get that authentic experience. Amazing, amazing. So any last words to your viewers, if you don't mind, Doctor? I just think that um, what I would say is that at, at AUBH, uh, the American model pro provides this wonderful, well-rounded um, educational experience with the curriculum so that students can explore the breadth of many different courses in their first few years if they weren't quite sure what they wanted to do as a major, they're given some time to do that. Mm. Mm. Um, and that, that core curriculum, that general education, really provides someone who becomes a lifelong learner. Mm. It's not just about learning a technical right. skill, it's about learning how to learn. Um, learning for a, a real lifetime of success. Uh. And so that's something we're, we're proud of and that we want to highlight. Learning how to learn. I wish somebody told me that 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, come on back. Come on. You let's can, go. You're Take a break, you know, and we're just going to go there and just experience education in a different way altogether. You got it. Well, you got doctor, it. it's been a great honor having you right here with us on Bahrain now. Thank and you very much. Exciting things, only exciting things will be definitely coming from your way. And we can only imagine now, CSUN is one. What kind of future prospects coming up from AUBH? We can only just imagine. Stay tuned. Stay Let's tuned. Go. Let's go with that. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. appreciate it. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's definitely the next frontier. All that took place in an interview right here with Dr. Jeff from the AUBH here in Bahrain now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for another great episode of Bahrain Now. As usual, be sure to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. Stay tuned for more exciting segments on Bahrain Now. This was Barab Dalla. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless.